Hi everybody. This is the letter P. And letters are symbols that have sounds. Each letter has a sound. P sounds like this. And when you put letters together, you make words. So it's very important for us to be able to identify the letters and know what the sounds make so we can put words together and we can read. Okay, so I'm going to start off with things that begin with the letter P. Can you make this sound? That's what the letter P sounds like. So the first thing we're going to start off with is something we use for writing. Pencils or pens and something pink. One of my favorite foods is a papaya. All right. So last week we talked a little bit about Lunar New Year and we saw the Chinese dragon. And a Chinese dragon is a humongous puppet, right? A puppet is something that comes, we can make come to life by moving, moving it with our hands or with different parts of our bodies. So today I am going to show you different kinds of puppets, okay? A Chinese dragon had people inside and that's what made it move and come to life. And this week, some of you will get a dragon, oops, there's an eyeball stuck. A dragon that you can turn into a puppet. And I turned this dragon into a puppet by putting some red paper in the middle and folding it and using straws to hold it and manipulate it. So you will get this in your homework and try to be creative and find a way to make a puppet. Okay? Some puppets are really easy to make, like I have a stick and I can draw a picture and I can put some tape on it. And then I have a stick puppet. Hi, how are you today? And I can have lots of fun using my imagination and my puppet, okay? Another easy way is to get a sock or even use your hands, because a hand can be a puppet, a hand can talk, right? This could be the mouth, and you might want to add some eyeballs. This is my hand puppet. Hi everybody. I'm a hand puppet. Another kind of puppet is a puppet that you can either make or you can and this is a puppet that I use my hands to move its hands. And I can use my hand inside to make it talk. Hi, I'm the doctor puppet. Our friend Zai found another way to make a puppet. He used a paper bag and he used that to make a puppet. He made a beautiful bird. Okay, so this week, oh, one more thing. There's fancy puppets. And this puppet is called a marionette puppet. And it is Pinocchio. Pinocchio begins with the letter P, and a marionette puppet uses string. So you can move the puppet's bodies and hands and legs by manipulating the strings with a stick on top. They're pretty neat. Um, in our classroom, we have a Chinese dragon marionette puppet. So hopefully we'll get back to the classroom soon and we can play with it and see it. Okay. So this week, I want you to try to figure out a way to make a puppet, all right? And then you can show it to us when we have our group meets. On Monday, there was no school because it was President's Day. And a president is the leader of our country. Our president now is Joe Biden. And the vice president or the person who helps the president is Kamala Harris. So presidents are important people. They run our country. 
And do you know what this is? It's something else that begins with the letter P. It is a penny, and a penny is a type of money. And if you look very carefully on the penny and on other coins and on other types of money, you will see a face on there. And that face is someone who once was a president. Okay, so I want you to find at least three things in your house or three pictures that begin with the P sound. P. My favorite food begins with P. Pepperoni. Another thing that begins with the letter P is, it's a long word, protection, right? When we go outside, we need to protect ourselves from germs. So what do we do? Well, we put on our mask. That way we don't spread germs and we don't get other people's germs. When we wear a mask, we keep it on our face. Do we wear a mask like this? No. We cover our nose and we cover our mouth. And what else do we do to protect ourselves when we're outside? We remember to keep our hands away from our faces. And when we can, we wash our hands. And if you can't wash your hands, then you can use hand sanitizer. And as soon as you go home, you can take your mask off and you can wash your hands and you are protected inside of your home. Okie dokes. So I think that's all for now. Um, tomorrow we will have a group meet and every Friday we will have a group meet. Tomorrow Miss Sue will lead the group meet and we're going to do some really fun things. And next week Auntie Carrie will do it. And then Miss Sue will do it, and then Auntie Carrie will do it. It could be a pattern, okay? So I will send your families an invite, and we'd love to have you join us. And if you can't come tomorrow, then maybe you can come another day, all right? Have a beautiful day. Stay warm and stay safe. And we love you.